Ah, Mario Party. Everyone's favorite way to ruin friendships and to keep the kids quiet during divorce settlements. All jokes aside, it's a fun game to play with your friends, but what if you don't have any? Or what if you need to keep little Timmy silent on a road trip to the Grand Canyon? For some reason, they were prepared for this question and created a single player campaign within Mario Party Advance. I know that every Mario Party game has a standard play the boards alone story mode, but this one is simply built different. Instead of mini games, you have the mushroom challenge. Instead of this awesome car, you now have a shoe. Instead of competition with friends, you have side quests and by the way, you're alone. The game starts out with, you guessed it, a personal question. They ask some normal questions like for your name, birth month, and your hobby. And you even get to create a character that you never use. Ooh, my, I, hair's, my hair's kind of long. Oh, yeah, yeah, to, yeah, your hair's mad long now. Th there we go. That, that's wait, me. That's actually you. Default PC, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Add a personal comment and then the real questions come in. Hey kids, what are your biggest ambitions in life? <laughs> that's great. What about your silliest little secret? I'm not telling them anything. <laughs> Nobody can know. Someone typed out like they're full on. So you're like, I think my parents are getting divorced. That's their secret. <laughs> Toad introduces us to the grand story of Mario Party at Beth. Oh my god. <laughs> party! Yeah. Oh, party. wait, poor Toad. Oh. Okay, so I think there is something wrong now. Bowser blew them all to Shroom City. That. <laughs> Let's party and go to Shroom City, he yeah. says. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bowser knows how to have a good party, apparently. Wait, wait up, Mr. Bowser. Sir, this loser won't dare come to Shroom City. <laughs> now I'm being peer pressured by Koopa Kid. The, okay, if you're not coming to Shroom City with Koopa Kid, no offense, but you're a little bit of a bitch. <laughs> peer pressure succeeds yet again, and we are on our way to Shroom City. We got to choose from an expansive roster, and then our whimsical little journey began. Go, Pete! This is not a Mario Party game. This is a strategy game dependent on resource management and sheer willpower. You have five dice blocks and goddammit, you better use them right. Peach's goal is to travel door to door like a Latter-day Saint and solve everyone's problems regardless if they want her to or not. Our first client is none other than Hoot the Owl, who is a gambling addict. He is in too deep, but just needs one little lucky break. So yes, let's gamble for him. Yeah, it's not really, a, this isn't a mini game either. This is just straight up gambling. <laughs> this is gambling. <laughs> like whenever I think Mario Party mini games, I think we're on an ice cream cone with more ice cream falling or like, yeah! yo, <laughs> and that's the gambler's fallacy and how it works. <laughs> Look, he's so happy. Oh no, <laughs> this game taught kids a very valuable lesson and not a good one. Now we're heading southbound, arriving at the Spear Thicket. I am wanting a duel, but you are not having... Wait, what the yeah, fuck? Of That's just misogyny. Them. After meeting Burger King's social media manager, we were informed of the Mushroom Challenge. This is the only real way to stay positive in your resource management, and it's by completing a single minigame. I mean, the um, completing the Mushroom Challenge. Our journey took us on a search for equal rights, and then it was time for a dance break. <laughs> Similar to sexist Shy Guys, some missions cannot be completed as Peach since Dory is desperate to meet Yoshi. As we enter the desert, we are greeted with competition as Hammer Bro is ready to throw down. I, I challenge you. Yo, the challenge. Okay. Oh my God, you're going to town. <laughs> not even close. What the what? That was should not have been that close. See you later, I'm gonna train more. What a good loser. Yeah, he took that loss in stride. Next door, a bullet bill with an unchecked ego is begging to throw hands. Uh, they have hands, right? Hey, stay out of my way. I'm training. Or do you have a bone to pick with me? Dude, the hammer bro is so much cooler about his training. Okay, you're actually destroying him. What is this rubber banding? Oh, no, 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 no. oh my god. Oh, Not bad. Did, did he says, lose? Oh, wait. What? I think he was just shit talking you for the a dialogue second. scared me for a little bit. Sad My fast. ego almost got the best of me. Here, take this. I've never related to a Mario Party character before. <laughs> you got the mini soccer. Well, you beat me fair and square. Thanks. I'm going to take my ego down. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice bullet bill. He learned the dangers of an unearned ego. The falls are mighty, but that's only if you lose. So I'm here with the mushroom challenge in this baby game, and I am here to murder all of you. Well, 
I'm gonna take my ego down a notch. Nah, oh well, it's time to fight Bowser. Oh, uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh, you're all out of mushrooms. Sorry, but you'll have to stop right funds over, dude. Should have checked your ego. <laughs> Go, Peach! When you game over, all of the quests you've already completed are still completed. The point of a game over is honestly just to inconvenience you since it's supposed to be a long drive to the Grand Canyon. Speaking of wasting time, Pokey, the Riddle Master, has created mental challenges that only Among Us YouTubers could understand. I'll, I'll take the Riddle Challenge. Hmm. You know what, Joe? This one's all you. All me? Okay, yeah. I'm great at riddles, actually. Here is my first riddle. I. What golfs, parties, and. Mario! It's Mario! Now, <laughs> here is your second riddle. Luigi! What? Okay, no. I just. <laughs> Bowser! Bowser! It's. <laughs> the stuff. Here's the last riddle. What is. Luigi! Luigi! Oh, Luigi! Oh. Wahoo! 45 quests to go! Yeah. Yeah. We decided to go to a barren desert and toss the nearby hammer over the distant pyramid to engage in, you guessed it, more gambling. Harem, win at least one coin more than you started with. Honestly, if you're only trying to go up one coin. Now, let's see how good a gamer you are. Good a game. I think that's mushrooms, right? I got all but. It's not bad. No, that's, I think only one left is like insane. Kamek rewards us with the title of Game King and then immediately tells us, keep on gaming, but never become <laughs> arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, I'm using that later. That's, that's a new Twitter banner. Which only leaves me confused on where my ego should be. But at least this kid's game has taught me that gambling is fun. Gambling sucks. Go Peach! Time for a super mushroom challenge. It's like the normal mushroom challenge, but you know, <laughs> super. Wow. As Peach entered Shroom City for the first time, we realized, wow, these developers were gambling addicts. <laughs> <laughs> this is dead ass slots. So I wonder how this one works. Uh, you go, you put in five and just hope for the best. Yeah, that sounds like slots. GG's. Dude, we gotta go to the casino after this. We have to actually just go to the casino. You know what? I do like gambling. Thanks, Nintendo. Speaking of playing a kid's game, Chain Chomp invites us for a fun little spar in the form of a game he invented called... Game Chainsaw. <laughs> so, great game idea, all right? We get a chainsaw. Mm, I don't know, 2 p.m. ready for some Russian roulette? <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this is exactly what I expected from Chainsaw. How did Yoshi get wrapped up in this? Dude, this is actual just Mario Party. This is insane, dude. This is... Oh, no, I'm tired. Oh, no, 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 I'm tired. Peach, go crazy, go crazy, go crazy. Come on, Peach. Peach, go crazy. you gotta want it more in Chainsaw, all right? That's what that's what Chainsaw's all about. Oh. Yeah! Yoshi <laughs> fucking died. To be fair, Russian Roulette is a form of gambling, so there is a chance we might see it later. So like any great RPG, we now have Fetch Quests. Wow, how fun! I would like to interrupt this boring ass objective to talk about the mini games in Mario Party Advance and how not a single one is bad. They all have clear goals, simple controls, and just feel satisfying to complete, except for this goddamn ice ring! Fuck! Then Thwomp calls us over and Shroomluck, the detective, yeah, to solve a robbery. Apparently, someone stole his money, so now it's time to play Dank and Rampa? What? So, Thwomp created a crime scene because he was lonely and didn't have any friends when he could have just been playing Mario Party Advance. <laughs> I'm alone. <laughs> Are you ready for the next mission? We've had strength training, crime solving, gambling, misogyny, and now it's time for... I need a, your help to find something. I'm looking for a lovely seashell. It's not for me, it's a gift for someone. You need to know who it's for. It's a for a cute girl named Goombetti. Goombetti. If I give her a gift, she might like me. Uh, you know what? You know what? Fuck it. We're on a mission. Yeah, no, we, we're gonna get Goomba laid. Like, when else would we be in a position to help Goombob get Goombus? Goomba. <laughs> she likes to pick up a lovely seashell. 
Yes! Ah, you've returned. So tell me, did you find me a seashell? Oh, look. This one. Beautiful. Uh -oh. oh, was she just already here? Bro, what was the bro, seashell you for? you won. You didn't need the seashell. She just dropped in to see you before you had the shell, bro? Why is your door on the second floor? Wait, actually, that's... How did she do that? I came in the door. I'm on the first floor. I, I feel like she did not come from the door. Also, Goombob, you're rich as fuck. You don't need a seashell. Oh, I'm really just like, I'm not super reading the dialogue because I'm just like, she just went to the bedroom. Oh, well, we got him. Yeah, <laughs> me when I'm about to have sex. Yippee. <laughs> After another fetch quest, we were presented with the fetch quest of all fetch quests. Probably a robbery. Koopa Bank was robbed when the power was out, so naturally we started investigating by interrogating the other people who were present at the bank. Keep in mind, moving from place to place in this game is a challenge in of itself, and the worst part is that we had to interrupt Goomba, who I, I'm sure he was busy. When it went dark, I heard the safe open, but that's all I know, and I didn't do it. Well, how's it going? He said it. Actually, let's not ask him. Yeah, let's... We talked to Paratroopa, and they say that they saw someone steal the money, and then brought us to Mr. I, who is a villain in other games, so we pinned it on him. Something doesn't sound right here. Are you sure you thought this out? Okay, we can guess another person. So you couldn't solve the mystery? Sorry, now I can't give you the gadget. You'll have to try again from the start. <laughs> <coughs> this is proof that criminals can be reformed, as we were just judgmental bastards. Unfortunately, the consequence of our bigotry resulted in replaying the entire quest. Uh, uh. It's Paratroopa. I know it to be true. This time for sure. Why would he do such a thing? All right, throw in prison. That's right. I stole the coins. I'm guilty. Oh, bro, where were you like 30 minutes ago? I just wanted to mess. <laughs> Dude, it was just a prank, actually. You know, you know that arm robbery? It was just a prank. It was just a joke. Sorry about that. <laughs> it was actually just a prank. <laughs> Detective, could you let Paratrooper go? He's always been a prankster. <laughs> Sorry. That's just me. Did I do that? This time he's gone a bit too far. He didn't mean it. Dude, he just stole all the well, money as a joke, dude. If Koopa insists, I suppose. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, will you forgive this felony just this one time? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on with this world? <laughs> I You're don't, giving us a reward? I don't know what lesson we were supposed to take from that. Well, one man's felony is another man's prank. If we're being honest, the bank wouldn't have even had this issue if they had something more secure, like, um... Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. You've probably heard me talk about them before. You know, super fast servers, 24-7 support, no data logging, 30-day money-back guarantee, or maybe you remember me talking about all the special awards they've won or the fact that it's compatible with most operating systems and has an automatic kill switch. Yeah, those guys. Well, all that still rings true, but this is an extra special time for them because they're celebrating their birthday! And for NordVPN's birthday, every purchase of a two-year plan will get you one additional month free and a surprise gift. So head on over to nordvpn.com slash alpharad and use the code alpharad today. <clears throat> we stormed through a few other quests in hopes of opening more Bowser pipes in hopes of going through them all at once. However, this quest ultimately brought us back to gambling. You see, I'm going to propose to my girl. I've been trying to win enough to buy a ring, but I'm doing badly. Actually, I'm broke. <laughs> I lost everything. I can't marry her now. <laughs> Not unless you can help me win back my money. No problem at all, bro. You're like the third one today. <laughs> See, okay, this one's not even gambling, I don't think. Oh, wait, no, this is just Pachinko. Never yeah. mind. Oh, shit. Oh, and then it's... We it's, won. We cured your debt. You're welcome. Get married, get laid, have fun. Yep, in that order. We were too busy focusing on all of these fun quests that we forgot to manage our resources. Luckily, all we needed to do was win the mushroom challenge. Oh, oh my God. No, it went what? in. It went in. <laughs> the boo went in. Go, Luigi. It's time to change it up and travel the world as Mario, Luigi. Our journey starts with the tournament arc as Luigi climbs a daunting tower to face his lifelong rival, Mouser. After that, we go through math as well as a race, but we have to lose it so the cheap sheep can feel good about himself. Well, I hope you guys are ready to laugh and ready to do it well. 
I need you to comment exactly how you laugh, but please only do it when it's funny. For it is time to meet Comedy Dolphin, the comical dolphin. This dude is not funny. So as you'd expect, we have to laugh at his jokes anyways. Our laughter will hopefully attract other dolphins who will just go with it and also laugh. So yeah, this is what gaslighting looks like. Woo, dolphin. Are you just supposed to be like spamming laughter? Is it like I, only a believable I think I'm voice? only supposed to do it in the, in the punchline zone. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the girl crying joke was funny, man. I thought it was. I have no talent. Sorry, I can't give you the gadget. I'm just such an unfunny loser. Uh, you... <laughs> Look, man, no comedian's funny. You, you did the right part. You just told us to laugh. This mission is so much harder than it looks because, believe it or not, there is a right and clear wrong way to laugh at a joke. The only thing worse than his comedy is his self-esteem, and no, that was not a punchline, so if you laughed, it was just incorrect, so I'd appreciate it if you took it back. After a careful analysis of these sentences he called jokes, he finally validated us as comedy geniuses for finding his jokes funny. Incredible. It's at this point where the freshness of the game was starting to wear off, and we realized we're just in side quest hell. We needed to complete 40 of the 50 objectives, so as any sane person would do, we skipped over all the fetch quests. Then, as any impatient person would do, we just went straight to Bowser. The gauntlet started off with everyone's favorite evil sport, soccer. All you have to do is score on Bowser three times. This is where I would make a soccer joke, but I do not know anything about that sport. Oh, oh, okay, if we can just do that. Huh. Interesting. Uh, you see, y y Bowser, you can lay down, buddy. No, that's it. We won. After defeating Bowser, we had to kill all of the Koopa kids around, which is a slightly more violent challenge than soccer. The next fight was an Ace Attorney turnabout, as we just had to dissect the inconsistencies in a conversation against Bowser and a literal child. Since he lost the War of the Mines, our next challenge was to assault multiple Koopa kids in a game I called Hammer. Bowser then challenged us to trivia over some nerd shit that we looked up a guide for, and then, as you guessed it, dueled Peach? Huh? Hey kids, tired of gambling yet? No? Sounds like you're not addicted then. The Koopa Kid minigame after that left me confused? I don't really know what we're doing here, but I'm gonna assume it's keeping up with the theme of violence. I don't know. I just don't get it anymore. In today's episode, Bowser is dying of frostbite, so we have to tell him jokes that will warm him up. The implications here are simply baffling. Because trust me, I have never had to worry about being funny, and I have especially never been concerned for comedy with someone else's life on the line. Speaking of other lives, death to all Koopa kids. I mean, we saved one alongside Bowser and then swiftly murder 49 others. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Why? Why is it a dating sim? <laughs> Why is this a dating sim? You have to learn what Bowser likes and then pick out an accessory that fits him best, but of course the answer would be rings. Next task on my agenda, I guess, is to Metal Gear Solid into Bowser's castle, which it does not have any other meanings. Our one goal here is just to hold forward and somehow not murder a single Koopa Kid for once. We still have a ways to go before the final fight, I think. So Luigi scoured the city for mundane tasks like finishing a grocery list, backtracking, or summoning a UFO. Eventually, Eventually, this run met an untimely demise, so it's time to send in our secret agent. Mario! Fun fact, the game just tells you, no, you actually need 100% everything, so now we just gotta go back, yeah. Mario arrived at Bowser's pipe zone in hopes of gambling for his life, literally. I don't know, okay, that, that scared me. You're insane. Thank you. You are so insane for that one, actually. <laughs> this was the final mission before the final mission, I think. We walk in on Bowser in the lab who prepared something truly evil for us. Lucky for us, we got to choose if it was scary or very scary. Surprisingly enough, there was a right answer. If you select scary, he summons naval piranha plant behind him only for us to play Koopa Curling against Peach. This... Uh, this is the end of the game. Go, Yoshi! Oh, actually, we need to be Yoshi real quick. We forgot Dory doesn't have any friends. That, that's, the act, that's the actual last mission. <clears throat> so now it's time to face Bowser in a dance to the death. We have spent all day rebuilding Shroom City through hard work and gambling, which has prepared us for this very moment. Bowser, show us what you got. Oh. 
What? All right, everyone. Phase one of the final boss has been completed. Now it is time to duel Bowser one on one, mano y mano. What? Huh? <clears throat> huh? What? That? That? That was it. That was the final boss. A Game and Watch mini game from 1981 was the final boss. <laughs> And then I realized, we actually don't fight Bowser a single time in this game. The closest we got to it was playing fucking soccer. And what happened to Toad at the beginning? We never even saved him. Did, did he just die? Did Bowser make him commit chainsaw? What, what, what was the point? <laughs> what? I have no idea what this game set out to be, but I, I think I loved it. It had its high highs and low lows, but god damn it, this game had heart. Every character was shining with well-written dialogue, and this game is brimming with genuinely good humor in almost all aspects. Mario Party Advance is so impressive in every way it shouldn't be. And in case you got attached to what you once thought of throwaway characters, the game signs off with a where are they now segment that is six minutes long. Goomba might move to the beach with Goombetty. Petal Guy gave up poetry for a career in carpentry. Ninji sold his DVD when he got bored of cartoons. Lakitu secretly yearns to be a screenwriter. Penguin still can't afford that old wedding ring, no. And most importantly, Bowser wants a clean start at beating Mario in Super Mario Mushroom Roulette coming soon!